I realized that the brakes are really, really underpowered and just taking them when the right time in the right measure is very useful. So we were qualified for first for like so long already, like since weeks, end of week six, I think, or on week seven, I'm not sure. For two weeks, we knew that we were going to be first. So I already planned that I'm going to go home for four days. And yeah, it just helped me reset my mindset and in general, like get another perspective on things. Going into this playoffs, I feel pretty confident since I've, I'm always very confident when I play playoffs. Uh, I don't think I've had like that many bad series, maybe like one or two. And usually I perform very well in these kinds of situations where I can prepare really hard for like one opponent instead of like when we play regular season, we play two teams every week and it's like kind of last minute preparation for, it's not really about who you play against, it's more like about your own style and what you play. Um, so now I can like, study what he has played and he can study me of course and then this situation is like a whole lot different than, than just like the regular split. Um, I think Origin as a whole is like a bunch of smart players. So I think they they have like a game plan prepared and they learn all with it. I don't think they are a team that would um, do things on the fly. Like I, I don't imagine Colt being a good player when he has to react. I don't imagine Miffy doing the same. And even I think one of the interviews, Miffy said that you know when he's playing and he doesn't have anything in mind, like he doesn't have a plan to follow, he will just run it down, right? And I don't think it's that extreme, but I just think that as a team and as players, they play way better when they have a plan and they like kind of follow it. So I'm pretty sure that you know they had two weeks to prepare against us, and I'm pretty sure they have like something in mind, you know. I need some yoga mats here. I mean, I would make it even. G2 up against Origin, two of our most storied organizations in the LEC. It's game one, and I'm sure it's going to be a barnstorm. We can maybe look for a play themselves. Notice Brooks has plans, but they're going in. And the knock up straight onto Mickey. Uses the Guardian, shields himself up. The Ignite not ticking enough. Caps is now teleported in, and Mickey's very low. Doesn't have the flash. The flash in for Perks. Looking for the final order. The Ren would be enough. They get him. First blood to Caps. Caps is on the in hit right now, and Origin realize they have to do something. Yeah, they're they're going to go for the fight. Alfari's going down towards the bottom lane to try and deal with Caps. Maybe actually just, just teleporting into in. the fight instead. Baron down to 10,000 HP. G2 can just poke from the side if they want. Wonder has the ultimate to jump into the back lane. 6,000 HP. They're going for the engage. Caps teleporting in. The Cataclysm already used. Cold ignited. He's down, the onslaught of shadow gets onto the back line as well. And here comes Cat, and here comes the rest of G2. Origin made the desperate call, but Patrick's down. Alfari gets one, but the rest of Origin are just running for the hills. The Realm Warp to chase onto Nuke Duck as well. And G2, they say, OG, oh, you can want a team fight all you want. Alfari gets the double, almost gets the triple. The heroes, they just know. No way has Alfari just turned that one around. It was all G2, but Caps now comes in, and Caps will clean it up for G2. Here comes Wonder, TPU. On Sword of Shadows, they try and get away from it. Patrick shielded up, healed up, and here comes Perks on the front line trying to get through Alfari. Alfari's already taken down one. Mickey gets the justice, punts onto Caps who has to flash away, but he's pulled back into the heart of Origin, and they rip out the heart of G2. G2 forced away, the Elder Dragon this? looks like they might just concede it. They're playing. They're gonna go with the Realm Warp, they're going in. They can use the Realm Warp mid lane because this tower is taken so low by one. The Elder's the recalls, already down. But the Elder is gone, the Baron recalls will come through, but they get the inhibitor. This is big for G2 because this is the only chance in the next two minutes and 20 seconds that they can fight back against Origin. Oh, G2, it. they're starting up. What? They have they're going fight, to answer They have the Ren, they have the Ren, they got the inhibitor, and all of G2, all, all oh, of this is the big cast. 
This is Kaps is just outplaying as well in the side lane. We should switch this Baron to G2. Let's, let's see what Kaps is doing. The Zonius comes out from New Deck. He's almost taken oh. out. Kaps oh. still in there. Kaps is trying to 1v3. In the end, he goes down. Baron goes across to G2. More 4,000 HP left on the Elder. Yankos trying Yankos. to get him. He's oh. He's oh. G2 are just going to force down mid. All of Origin need to back away to try me out, but Yankos is keeping them around. He's down into the GA. Mickey there as well. They get Yankos, but who has been able to back? Nuke does got away. Cold st sticking on Mickey. Keeps Patrick in the round. And there's the Nexus Towers going down. G2. They no, steal it away. They can do it. And G2 take the Nexus. Oh, yeah. And an incredible game one. And just a reminder in terms of cold, like we know from playing against them, like if they're in a situation where their their lane is fucked and they need their jungler, their jungler is going to give up farm to be there. So just be patient, and if you can take a three v three or a two v two, do so. But if not, take the advantage elsewhere. Cold will be around his laners. Communication was good in our team. I think we kept a, a good flow. We never panicked, which we kind of could have done because we were struggling to find any advantages. It was really back and forth and no one really could tell who was going to win until the Nexus exploded. Uh, so I think that's kind of like part of the why it, it might have felt so like rocky, like back and forth. Uh, but that's just how the game goes sometimes. Right now I'm looking at the level 1 strat that G2 has come up with as they've sent both Caps and Wonder to the bot side of the map. But Patrick can just walk up towards Mithy here. Now spots out G2. Caps will have the claw. Doesn't land it. Mithy uses double to eat him up. But Mickey comes across the wall there and knock back. Mithy, lots of damage coming down. There's the ignite as well. They're continuing on the chase. They get first blood. He's waiting. As you say, a big wave, very impactful early on. Yankos coming in, doesn't have the flash, will land the knockup only onto Mithy. Mickey with the chase in, thick skin from Mithy will keep him alive for the moment. The ignite is ticking away. Mickey tanking up the tower, Perks gets the kill. Well, here, Yankos has something to say about it, though. Yeah, Nuke has the flank position here. Yankos, no flash, will pop the Void Rush onto Nuke Dug. The charm comes out as well, roots them up in the place. Caps is on the other side of the wall, he can't join the fight. But maybe he's going in as the Vanguard's Edge comes out to keep his verdict. Oh. A great stun, Nuke Dug is down for Perks. Mithy chased up towards the top side, Wonder gets another kill. And G2 were able to find the perfect fight. Caps stepping forward, uses the never move, pulls back Mithy, knocked away with the keeper's verdict. The cold jumps in onto Yankov, but he goes golden, and the rest of G2 can be act. Mithy coming in as well. He jumps onto the back line, Nuke uses his stopwatch just in time. The first two actually used there. Mithy will spin out Patrick Perks on a rampage. Wonder jumping onto the back line. That's two kills to him. Just needs the final swipe with the blade. G2 will look to the second Nexus Tower. They'll take it pretty cleanly. Alfari trying to jump in, but the quickness is still there. And G2 have all the tools for the team fight. They take two, they take three. They take it, sonning all, and they'll get the triple kill for Aurelia. G2 are one game away from finals in Rotterdam. Game two went really well. I think we went into it with a draft that we were comfortable with and one that we'd put some practice into. So we were really happy with the picks we got. It was just about riding the early game. I think Caps teleporting top really got us a lot out of the game. Like It went really well for them and their top lane should have won harder from there. But thankfully they didn't pressure us that much there. And then we were able to actually scale into the game where, as, as you can see, Swain got really untouchable. He was really broken that game. And like Caps just really took over the game. G2, they are on match point though, with their eyes set firmly on the final. Let's see if they can pull it off. G2! Watch Mickey so in the side lane. Oh, now they don't have the Swain they had last game, so it's less CC. I don't think they can get a kill, but they could look to burn an early flash. How are they gonna do this? Caps has yet to level up a skill, doesn't have the W. Here we go. Wonder stepping straight into Alfari. There's Mickey. Waiting for the knockup. Alfari doesn't flash away from it. The chase is still on. Alfari ignited the parlay. Wonder! It means that the risk of a dive is very real. Quickness used, the Featherstorm comes out from Perks as well. The Root's gonna land onto Patrick as he flashes away. Mithy underneath the tower still has the thick skin available. The Void Rush coming onto Patrick, and Yankos will secure him. Cold now here. Dunks down onto the Rexai, but he isn't close enough to the tower. Take damage, Nuke Duck gets hours to get away with the Blast Cone. Caps still on the chase though, and Nuke Duck won't be there to save his jungler in time. Two for one change. So far, Mithy with the Abyssal Voyage gets behind Caps, but all they're gonna do is chase him back to a perk. The first two claims away from Nuke Duck. Has a lot of damage, but Caps gets the second. Mithy will kill Mickey. 
and won't be able to get away. Perks flashes away from Mithy and gets a kill for himself as well. Origin are all out of sorts. We were wondering what they were going to do. They're just going to get engaged on. Charm lands onto Cold and second Charm onto Alfari as well. Nuketo splitting down towards the bottom side, but Cold will pop the Cataclysm and he will fall. G2 just cleaning up Origin. The Void Rush comes in and Yanko sinks the fangs in. Perks gets a double. This could just be the game. Perks and Caps on their way. Look at the death time as Mithy up. Patrick in 10, Alfari in 20. Baron minions now respawn for Origin. The engage, the charm. Caps jumps in. Nuke Duck goes gold and pops the stopwatch for the moment, but he's down. And Caps and G2 will silence anyone that doubted them. And they will fight for the title in Rotterdam. I didn't feel like we outlast them really hard or something. I think we just played better as a team. So it was, yeah. It felt nice to win. Well, we've been playing more with Mickey now than before, but he still doesn't play solo queue, so we don't really get to practice me and him. But I think we played really good together anyways, so I'm just happy to play with him, even though we get so few games on stage or in scrims together. Now I can cherish those moments more. <laughs> Nothing else is on the line, right? So it's either win or go home. So yeah, we, are, we have to win. Well, see, the thing was, I was never cursing G2, right? G2 cursed themselves when Perks didn't give me a fist bump. So I, I, like, it was never my intention to curse G2. If he had given me a proper fist bump when we did, when we tried to rectify it, then it would have been fine. But he gave me this, like, half-hearted one. And so now, like, I, I decided I couldn't curse G2 for all of playoffs. That's a little bit unfair. So I finally released the curse today, and that's why you won 3-0. The only worry is that you don't have as much practice as the other teams. That's the only reason you might like struggle a little bit. But if you play like you did today, G2 are 3-0, 3-1 in the finals. Without watching the VODs, I would say that Origin would still be my favorites to make it to the final. I think the Fnatic is still a little linear in how they play and they're pretty one-dimensional. And I would hope that uh, Origin have a little more versatility in how they play the game. I still think that G2 are likely to take the title overall, regardless of whether they play Origin or Fnatic. Okay, so, um, returning to stage, I felt pretty excited because I didn't play it for like two or three weeks on stage. And first game, I was kind of scared or something to do much, so I was just like kind of playing passive and waiting for enemies to do stuff. But in the second game, I think I got kind of used to it and it was a lot of fun. It's uh, always really fun to go to like like other places. And I've only been to two so far. And I've only been to one final. And in that final, G2 won. So <laughs> in this final, G2 should probably win as well. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped for that. So going to the final, I obviously want to prove myself and I want to like prove my team basically. Uh, I want to, us to also show up and obviously it would be good to win another title. Um, it would not be like, I mean, we, we want to go like really far right and we want to be a team that will be remembered and for that we, we need to win when it counts the most. So going to this final it's going to be a very important series and I just hope we, we perform up to what we, we expect from us. For my, my own performance, I feel like I played pretty well. Uh, I got robbed of uh, MVP by 1% from Caps, which kind of sucked, but he has the bigger fan base and uh, he has the new haircut, so what can I do? Like the 1%, it was for sure the 1% the haircut. So. Well, honestly, how we prepare for, for Rotterdam or the playoffs in general here nowadays was like <laughs> eating a lot of sugar. I mean, I, I know like my teammates especially, they and myself, I, we ate like some ice cream and they are ordering waffles like 24 seven. So I'm not sure if, uh, if we're doing uh, the origin way, which is like yoga, no pizza, but I know for sure that, uh, that we are embracing like the sugar side and like the unhealthy esports uh, gamer side of things.